What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another Kali Linux tutorial. Before I get started with the video, just want to bring out there that, of course, don't do this maliciously. Uh, what else does YouTube want me to say? Now nah, I'm just playing, guys. Really, don't do this maliciously. Don't use this tool to hack your neighbor, to hack any company, something like that, because you will go to jail. What we want to do here is get that six-figure salary or even higher than six figures, you know, maybe even a million dollars doing security. Who knows? Maybe you could be doing security consulting. So in this video, we're going to be using a popular brute force hacking tool called Hydra. So this tool was requested a long time ago, probably months ago for me to do. And, you know, I'm just now getting to it. So I apologize. If anybody was waiting for this video, all Hydra is again is a popular brute force attack tool. And if you don't know what brute force is, then today is your lucky day. All brute force is, is it's just a software that is trying every single password combination known to man. It's going through the letters, the special characters, the numbers. It's trying every single password to try to hack your account. So if you didn't guess already, this is why it's important to have very strong passwords. So anyways, we're going to demonstrate Hydra here today. The first thing you have to do is install Hydra, of course. Now, if you have Kali Linux, usually it's already installed. We could test that out and check it. All we have to do is type Hydra dash H. And as you can see, Hydra is here is giving us the options that we can do and it's telling us all this stuff but if you do not have hydra installed just type sudo apt install hydra misspell that a few times and press enter and it will install so if it's already installed no need to type that so the next thing we're going to do here is since we're testing this in our own network at our own house we're going to go ahead and install an sftp program what that is is secure file transfer protocol used to transfer files if you know your protocols it's good for you if not don't even worry about it because we're just going to focus on hacking the password here today so to install this sftp program we're just going to type sudo apt install vs ftpd as you can see i already typed it i already installed it but I'm just gonna press enter here. We can see it's already installed. So let me go ahead and type in my password here. And it's already installed, but you know, it's probably not gonna look like this for you. It's gonna be installing packages. It's gonna ask you yes or no, possibly. So go ahead and install that. So after you have that installed, let's go ahead and type in sudo service vsftpd and start. And we're gonna start this service here. So let's go ahead and start it. So now that the service is running, all that's left to do is create a user for the service. Then we're gonna create a password for the service. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna create a strong password. I'm gonna create a weak password. You know, some somebody might type that, you know, they might think that they're slick and you know, nobody's gonna hack it. But you know, as we all know, it can be hacked. So all we're gonna type is sudo add user and we're just gonna call this test user. So I went ahead and added the user. So we're just gonna create a password for this user. I'm going to type in the name here. I'm just going to call him smart guy and we don't need to add any of this. Let's just go ahead and type the information is correct. All I did was I hit enter on those other ones because we don't need to type in room number and stuff like that. So, so now that we have a user and a password, now we can actually do the fun part and attack. So what we're going to do in this password attack is we're going to use a word list. So if you have Kali Linux, as we all know, Kali Linux is good for hacking and there's already a lot of hacking tools as you can see with Hydra. Hydra was already installed. I didn't have to install it. So all we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and check out the word list. So this word list is that word list that has common passwords that people would set. We're going to use it to perform a dictionary attack. But right now, let's just go ahead and look at this file, see what we might find inside. So let's go ahead and do an LS so we can see what's in here. If you look all the way over to the right side and the W's, we can see word list. So this is already installed in Kali Linux. I, I didn't download anything. This is already included. So it'll most likely be on your Kali Linux machine as well. So we're going to type CD word lists. And as you can see, we're in here. We're going to do another LS. And here's the file that we're looking for. It is rocku.txt.gz. 
So this GZ stands for gun zip. It's just zip a zip file. So all we have to do is unzip it. And if we do another LS, we can now see it has been unzipped and it says rocku.txt. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a peek at this file. Like I said, there's probably over 10 million lines and you know I don't wanna see all those lines. So I'm gonna type in less and then I'll type in rocku.txt. This is gonna show what's in the file, but it's gonna show less. You know, I don't wanna see all those lines. So let's go ahead and type enter. And as you can see, here is a bunch of common passwords that people use. As we can see, Playboy, ooh, Playboy. Hello, Elizabeth, you know, people like to use names. We have Shadow, Melissa, Eminem. As you can see, people think they're slick, but you know, this is obviously in this file, so. You know, if you have that as your password, you might want to change it really quick. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. So now that we've seen what's inside that file, let's go ahead and finally attack. So this is going to be a long command. Just bear with me. But we're finally going to be using Hydra here. All right, so we're going to type in Hydra. Then we're going to type in dash L. So the dash L means login. So we're going to log in as this user that we just created. And that user is test user. We're gonna type dash P, which means path. So we're just gonna type in the path to our word list. So here's the thing you gotta keep in mind. If we were not already in the directory here, we would have to type this directory after dash P. But since we're already in here, all we have to do is type rocku.txt. Next thing we're gonna type here is dash V. So essentially, Hydra is gonna be more specific and tell us exactly what it's doing. So we want it to be verbose. So we're gonna type dash V and then we're gonna type dash T. And dash T stands for tasks. So we're gonna type dash T and four to tell it four parallel connections. And then we're gonna type in dash U. And dash U, you're just specifying the target. So in here we're gonna type in the loopback of our machine because we're on our own machine here. If this was a remote machine, that you owned, of course, always do this on your own machine. So if you own this other machine that's remote, you would type in that target machine's IP address. But we're just gonna type in a loopback IP since this is our own machine. And we're gonna type in FTP. And now we're just gonna hit enter and see what happens, guys. So let's go ahead and hit enter. It looks like I made a mistake here. I type rock.u.txt. Let's go ahead and now hack the passwords, guys. And done. As you can see, it cracked the password. I simply just set my password to password. You know, very easy password. All right, guys, so that's pretty much how you can do a brute force dictionary attack with Hydra. The thing is with Hydra is Hydra will not allow you to do a brute force attack, a normal brute force attack, depending on the characteristics you set. If I go ahead and type in Hydra-L test user-x, so dash X tells, tells Hydra to do a normal brute force instead and to use these characteristics. So if I say between six and seven characters, lowercase and use numbers, and then, you know, we have the normal stuff here, but if I hit enter, what's gonna happen is it's gonna tell me that this is gonna generate more than 4 billion passwords and it's not gonna let us do it. So if I go ahead and type in six characters max, and I can, you know, just lowercase, and you know, we can use numbers here. It's gonna work, but that is a very huge limitation to a normal brute force attack with Hydra. As far as I know, there's no way around this. You know, the best way in this case is to use that dictionary attack. But as you can see, it is looking for the password here. I think it's not gonna be able to find the password because I did put a password that is more than six characters. All right, guys. So that is pretty much the end of the video. I do have one more cool thing I wanna show. If you're interested in steganography, pretty much what that is, if you didn't know, is you can hide data within a picture. So we can do this really quickly in Kali Linux. I'm not gonna show the full thing now, but if you are interested in learning how to do this, then feel free to comment below and I will show you the steps to do this. Let's go into our folders here. And as we can see, guys, we have a picture of a cute cat, cutecat.jpg. You know, somebody might see this picture and think, you know, this is just a normal picture of a cute cat. But what they did not know is there is some hidden data within this photo. So let's go ahead and just extract that data. 
And if you're interested to learn how to do this, then just let me know and I will make a tutorial for it. All we're gonna do is extract the information because I already put it in there. To make things easier for me, I'm gonna go ahead and right click this. Then I'm gonna open terminal here and it's gonna open terminal inside the downloads folder, extract-sf. Then we're gonna type in the file name. The file name is cutecat.jpg. And let's see what kind of information is in this picture file. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. And we have to enter a passphrase here. So let me go ahead and enter the passphrase. And as you can see here, it wrote the extracted data to secret.txt. So all we're gonna do here, let's just do ls. And we can see secret.txt here. So we're just gonna do a cat secret.txt. And as you can see here, guys, <laughs> we see the hidden information. It looks like the person on this Kali Linux machine has pornography in the downloads folder. So it looks like they lied unless it's hidden somewhere else. But, you know, feel free to let me know if you would like a tutorial on that. You know, super cool things we can do with steganography. But anyway, that's pretty much the end of this video, guys. I do appreciate you all for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.